What does it mean if you don't want to socialize anymore? You still love spending time with your friends, but now you self-isolate as much as possible and can barely respond to a text. When you go through a lot of stress or trauma for a long time, your body, your emotions, and nervous system can start to shut down. At a certain point, you're so overloaded that your nervous system goes into protective shutdown, which can cause you to self-isolate. At first, this isolation feels relieving, quieter, and less overwhelming. But when you self-isolate for months or years, your nervous system System deactivates the social engagement system in your brain called the ventral vagus nerve. This controls your eye contact, your voice tone, your facial expression, and your empathy. So after long-term isolation, you may lose your ability to empathize, speak with emotional tone, or connect deeply with people. You might reply with one-word answers and feel disconnected from your loved ones. This leads to a functional freeze state. You have enough energy to get things done, but you crash afterward. This isn't your fault. It's an autonomous reaction to prolonged stress or trauma. So if you're sitting in your room wondering why you don't feel close to people anymore, it's not that you don't care. It's that your nervous system has been overwhelmed for a long time and you have no energy left. To heal this, don't force yourself to be social. It's too much at first and it will feel awful. You want to start by teaching your nervous system that it's safe again and you can do that with tiny lazy movements in bed called somatic exercises.